What's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, so this video is gonna be a little bit different for a few reasons. As you can see, my lighting is terrible. I am in a very low budget hotel room in Los Angeles. But yeah, I wanted to make a video, sit back, relax. It's gonna be a little bit of a story time and I'm hoping some of you could take um, some stuff away from this. Uh, first off, this isn't a pity me video or anything like that. So if you are just one of the people who hate me out there and you wanna call me a victim or whatever, say I'm playing the victim, leave your comment down below, I'll catch you later. This is for the real rewired soldiers out there and just kind of a, a life update, channel update, everything like that. Um, so yeah, I've been doing, doing a lot of thinking and um, I made a video about James Charles the other day sticking up for Jaclyn Hill and if you didn't catch it, I, I, I opened up about something that I have not vocalized publicly. Like I've talked about it with my lovely girlfriend Tristan, um, with my therapist and you know some other people in my life but I haven't said it publicly and it really, I don't know what it was, it just, it gave me this clarity. So what I talked about in that video was everything that happened to me earlier this year, it was like I, I lost my passion for helping people um, with their mental health, with their addiction, and it it really fucked me up. <laughs> By the way, sorry, this, this is going to be unfiltered. Um, but it messed me up because I felt like I found my meaning and my uh, purpose in life to help people you know, improve their mental health to help people overcome their addiction. And when, you know, when everything came crashing down, um, it, it messed me up. And, you know, something that I try to teach is, you know, just because it feels a certain way doesn't mean it is a certain way. Um, a great form of therapy is rational emotive behavioral therapy. I love it because it helps you think rationally. See, my brain thinks, my brain tells me, Chris, everybody turned against you. Everybody hates you. And yeah, I've been just wasting time these last six months. Because the reality is there's a lot of you out there who, uh, who have stuck around and I love you for it. And, and I feel like a dick because I haven't been providing you with what you signed up for. Right? So I've been, I've been thinking, like right after I made that James Charles video, and I opened up about how, you know, I've shifted away from mental health, even though people keep coming and talking shit and stuff like that. Um, I, you know, I changed my banner on YouTube and on uh, Twitter, and I changed my intro on here to be like, I'm a commentary channel. I'm a commentary channel who cares about mental health now. And people, like, I don't even know why I did that. People don't give a shit. People still come here and say, I thought you were a mental health channel and stuff like that. But I was like, you know what? Screw mental health. I don't, like, I'm, I'm just done with that. And it, and it messed me up. And uh, anyways, after that James Charles video, it was just on my mind and on my mind. I'm like, what? Who are you, Chris? What are you doing? And I was sitting there the next day and just... Oh my God, like it just felt like I just kept getting hit in the face over and over and over with clarity. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a religious person. I am, you know, spiritual as many of you know. Um, but yeah, it just felt like, you know, that, that kind of spiritual experience where it's like a message was like, yo, Chris, you're fucking up, right? And what it was, was I was trying to get back to the place like, Chris, why did you do this? Why did you, where did your passion for helping people come from? And it's like, it's like I've been so selfish and self-centered lately, I completely forgot. And some things came up is, you know, seven years ago, I almost died. Um, and there was a lot of survivor's guilt around overcoming my addiction. Like overcoming your addiction is fucking dope. Don't get me wrong, but there's so much survivor's guilt that comes along with it. Like I've lost so many people to addiction. And one of the reasons I started helping people with their mental health and addiction was because like, why, why else am I here? Like I'm one of the few, every year we're losing tens of thousands of people in the United States alone from the drug I was using. Like why the fuck did I survive? 
You know what I mean? Like, why me? And I, I believe, you know, part of the reason that I am here is to share that experience and try to help others and try to give other people hope that they don't gotta live the way that I was living. They don't gotta be miserable, addicted, suicidal, you know, um, not just not caring about anything. Like, I, I started helping people because I want people to know that you don't have to fucking live like that. And that was the first kind of pfft clarity I got. But then I started remembering my ex-girlfriend who passed away at the year, uh, at uh, 24 years old from alcoholism, 24 years old, and she died. And part of me getting sober was, you know, in honor of her. And part of me helping other people is because I don't want other people to go through that. I don't want, you know, um, friends to lose people. I don't want family members to lose people. Her parents lost a 24 your old daughter, right? So I try to help people in honor of her because I could never help her, but I was still in the insanity of my addiction back then. So part of me trying to help other people is in honor of her. And then the next piece of clarity that really just slapped this shit out of me was I was thinking about my friend Jeremiah who recently passed away from a drug overdose. Um, some of you saw that video I made about that. He was a he was a good friend. He was in recovery too. He had like two years clean. He relapsed. He got back, you know, on the right track, and uh, he lived across the country. But just out of nowhere, I found out he relapsed and overdosed and died. And like I, I haven't even thought about that in a while. And that's another reason why I make, you know, these fucking videos. It's like I, I don't I don't know like. Um, like I said, it was just so selfish and self-centered of me. It's something I, I tried to teach people not to do, but all I could think about was me, 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 right? I got to defend myself. I got to change my, you know, change the momentum of my channel and everything like that. But anyways, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually out here um, at Vid Summit in Los Angeles. And hold on, my battery is about to die. So just pause it get a drink. I'll be right back. All right, we're good. So yeah, I'm at Vid Summit and God, this, this event is so, I like it better than VidCon. This is my second Vid Summit. I went to VidCon this year. Um, my buddy Aaron from the channel for the love of tech, he couldn't make it. So he gave me this ticket, but I'm just surrounded by creators and it's got me just my, me thinking even more and just kind of reflecting on things because Last year at this time, it was right when my channel started blowing up. It was when Shane Dawson did a series with Jake Paul. I kind of found that formula. Oh, you can teach people about mental health by intertwining, you know, uh, YouTube topics or drama topics, if you will. And my channel exploded and I, I, I was at this event and I was just riding high, right? And, and yeah, like, so six months ago when I was, you know, had everything happen, I switched to commentary and everything. And like, I think, part of the reason I've been feeling like lost and just whatever, it's like I had this intention and I had this pure focus on help people with their mental health, Chris. Fucking help them. Like that's what you're here to do. Help people with their mental health and their addiction, all right? Not everybody's gonna like you. Not everybody's gonna agree with you. You just focus on the one person you can help. Like these are things that I knew in the depths of my soul, right? And then, you know, after everything happened, I was re I was trying to, you know, rebrand my channel, re uh, rediscover my channel and everything. And like, I've done commentary and stuff. And some of those videos have done very well, very well, you know? And I have some other people, you know, who are friends in the community, like, oh, Chris, that video did well that, you know? And like, I, I don't mean any disrespect to any commentary or drama channels or whoever, but like, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't get excited. I'd like, what, like, what am I doing? Like, I never got onto YouTube to just share my opinion about what's going on, right? I, I'm like, I don't care. Like, I really don't give a shit what other YouTubers are doing. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what we can learn from them. Like, the only reason I started covering drama was, like, because I knew people were watching that. 
just as an escape from their own shitty life. And I'm like, nah, uh, uh, we need to talk about your life, right? So like when I do just regular commentary, like I did, um, I, I, one of my recent videos that blew up was when I talked about Vice uh, being all pissed off about Dave Chappelle. And it's like, I can make those videos all day long, but I don't want to. I don't want to, like, I don't want to just share my opinion. What, am I just gonna build an audience of a bunch of people who agree with me? Like, that's, like, again, no, I don't mean any disrespect to anybody else out there. Like, we need, like, I like hearing other people's opinions and stuff like that, but that's, that's not me. That's not what my purpose is. I don't, I don't need to just share my opinion on what's going on. I want to help people. That's what I want to do, and, you know, what got me in trouble was the way I was helping people by using this as an example. So anyways, if you've been sitting here, by the way, thank you for watching this entire video. But um, yeah, like I, I want to say like I'm going, I'm going back. Like I'm, I, I have acquired, like not only do I have my own experience, like, like listen, if you don't like me, if you don't agree with me, I don't give a shit. But like, here's the thing. Like, here's the thing. Like, I'm doing this for me, all right? Like, I, seven years ago, I wanted to kill myself. Seven years ago, I wasn't allowed to see my son. Seven years ago, I could not stop drinking or using drugs for five fucking minutes, right? I have something to offer people, okay? And not only that, but I, I'm educated. Um, I have some formal education, a lot of informal education, and things like that, but I just, you know, I read a bunch of books and I take online courses for the fun of it. And a bunch of people don't want to do that. So I try to compress it into a YouTube video. And I'm not just going to sit on that knowledge and not give it to anybody. I'm just going to, like, I'm just repeating and saying, hey, look, this book is fucking great. Like, they talk about some good shit. But anyways, something else I wanted to touch on. So I'm, at, I'm out here at VidSummer with a lot of other creators. And um, this is my second event since everything happened. And I was really nervous going to VidCon, but nobody came up and talked shit. Like, I'm so deadly afraid that someone's gonna come talk shit to me, right? But like, nobody does. Like, people are much more aggressive online. But anyways, since I've been here, and these, these two guys are probably not gonna watch this video. But um, I had the opportunity to meet uh, Jarvis Johnson, y'all know him, as well as Leon Lush. Um, two amazing creators who I respect the hell out of, but one of my biggest fears is like running into creators who I just respect the hell out of and them not even giving me a chance because they heard, they heard some shit about me. You know what I mean? Like because there's hate videos about me. But um, yeah, I got to chat with Jarvis Johnson. I got to chat with uh, Leon Lush for a little bit. Um, and, and yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, for example, those two guys are great examples. I, I love watching their channels. I love the commentary they do. I love the angles they take and the way they discuss things and everything like that. But that's just not for me. I had my thing, you know? But it means a lot to me that guys like that, you know, have obviously, you, you know, heard about what's happened to me and they're like still cool with me because they're making their own judgment of me, right? They're not believing just what some randoms on the internet are saying about me. So anyways, um, I'm gonna try to wrap this thing up in just a minute, but yeah, uh, I'm reading another great book um, called Moral Tribes. I've been waiting on reading it because it's like, I do audiobooks for those of you who don't know, and it's like 13 hours. I'm like, Ugh. Like I try to listen to books that are like six, seven hours, but picked it up and it's so fucking good. I, I really love moral psychology, moral philosophy and everything because especially with everything that happened to me. Like, if you watch any commentary channel, if you watch any drama channel, it's really just m moral policing, right? And it's fascinating to me because morality isn't a black and white thing. Like, I, that's why I love learning about it because different people have different views, like where you come from, when you were born, where you were born, how you were raised and everything like that. And like, um, that's something I want to add to the conversation. Like, it, like when doing commentary, some of you have seen, I try to blend in stuff and studies that they've been talking about in, uh, in books and everything like that. Um, but I, I want to get back to, you know, mental health. And I think in this book, Moral Tribes, this guy is really fucking good. Like I'm always trying to learn from other people. But anyways, he gets to a part in the book, one of the chapters I just finished, 
where he talks like because things are culturally different. Like morality is different. Like for example, me and you might be into monogamy, right? Just one person, that's my shit, right? Like my baby girl, Tristan, that's my girl, right? But in other cultures, polyamory is more of a thing. Like which one's morally correct, right? It's just, you're from a different place. But anyways, the author, when he starts talking about it, he starts talking about how he's going, like he doesn't mean any disrespect. Um, this is just, you know, he's talking about studies and everything like that. But he says, he says this, like, the way he, he made the disclaimer was epic, all right? But he said something along the lines of, like, this is not to be disrespectful for anybody, but I, I hope to point out, you know, what we can learn from these people from both their successes and their failures. And I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, that's what I've been trying to do with my channel. But everything got all fucked up and people thought I was like actually like like there are people who still think that I hate Trisha Paytas like that's nuts I literally don't hate anybody okay <laughs> like I don't hate anybody I might not like certain people I might disagree with certain people you know whatever it is but like I I've never meant to intentionally hurt anybody right but what I'm trying to do is see how we can learn from people's successes and failures. That's one of the only reasons I'm alive today was because I sat in 12 step meetings and I listened to the people who are staying sober. I listened to the people who are relapsing. I listened to successes and failures. And I think that's the best way we can do things. I put up um, a question on my community tab. I said, why do you watch my channel? And some people said that like, you help me learn from other people's mistakes and everything. And I would like to highlight more successes, but anyways, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much I will be using, you know, what's going on in the YouTube community. Like, if you like that, by the way, and you're still watching this fucking video, like, let me know in the comments. But um, I like doing that. Like, that's the way I learn. Like, here's an example of something. Like, that's one of the reasons I, I love this book, Moral Tribes. It's very good at like painting the picture, right? Like when you go put something in an example, like, oh, I can see it. That's just a, a great way for me to learn, right? But um, I don't know how, how much I'll be doing that. I might do it a lot. I might do it a little. But like, just so you know too, like, I sometimes I don't wanna fucking reach you know, and try to find a topic. Like lately what I've been trying to do is look at a subject and see what have I, like what, what have I learned about recently in a book that I can intertwine with this topic. And, and sometimes I like doing that. Sometimes it's fun and interesting and fascinating to me, but other times I don't like, so I'm going to just go back to what I used to do and just kind of mix it up. Like some days I might just do a video like this, but better, more energetic, more upbeat and everything like that. And just give my advice, right? Because here's the other thing, all right? Like I'm tired of living in like these last six months, it's just been fucked up. But something I've been recognizing lately too is like, I got through it, right? Like I got through this shit. Like I, I wanna inspire people. Like whether you love me or hate me, like they're like, and this isn't to toot my own horn, but like how many other people could get attacked, get, can get attacked by hundreds of thousands of people, right? Whether, whether you believe they're right or wrong, okay? But how many people could be attacked by hundreds of thousands of people and keep moving forward, right? Like I talk to a lot of people in DMs and everything like that, and it's something that keeps coming, by, keeps coming up. People are like, Chris, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you just keep making content and doing this stuff, right? And it's because I'm a stubborn motherfucker, right? But I have all these topic ideas in my head and I wanna start getting back to blogging too more and stuff, but like, one of them is like, how many of you out there are uh, living in fear of failure, right? You're afraid to fail, right? Like, maybe I can help you with that. Every time I upload a video, it's a fucking failure to in my eyes, you know? But how do I push through it? Maybe that's something I can help you with right? Um, maybe you care way too much about what people think. Hell, I'm human. I still do too, right? What am I doing? Like, how, how am I managing, you know, to deal with all these shit comments that come in? Maybe I can help you care a little bit less about what other people think. Like, I've been through so much shit in my life that maybe, maybe I can help you with it. And again, that's one of the only reasons I am alive today is because I looked at other people and I was like, oh shit, if they can do it, 
I can do it too, right? And I wanna start doing that again. I wanna start in inspiring people again. I wanna start giving people hope, everything like that. I don't just wanna share my own opinion. I want to, like, I just don't wanna share my opinion on a topic or controversy going on. I wanna see what the fuck we can learn from it, all right? So, Anyways, um, part of the reason I made this video was just for my own accountability to get back on that track. But um, to anybody who's been sticking around this long, like not just this video, but since I got canceled, like again, thank you for sticking with me. And I wanna apologize because like, I, I was even thinking today but when I decided to make this video, like a lot of the shit I've been making is not what you signed up for. Right? Like a lot of people, like I used to get comments all the time, like, Chris, every day you remind me to take care of my mental health. And like, that, I fucking love that. Even if it was just one person saying that, you know? If I could remind one person, like, hey, take care of your noggin today, you know? Like, that's dope shit, you know? So, anybody who I've let down in that capacity, I, I, I apologize. And like, just know if I do bring this stuff up, what I'm going to try to do a better job of moving forward is making it more helpful for you, like I used to. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just gonna be my experience. Like, I've had a rough time lately trying to figure out, okay, like, how do you make this valuable to the audience? You know what I mean? Like, I've had trouble with that, so I'm gonna work really, really hard. Like, you are giving me your time. I want you to walk away with something of value. I want you to walk away and say, okay, maybe this will help me improve my relationships. Maybe this will help me not be so anxious or nervous. Maybe this will help me get out of my depressive funk. Maybe this will inspire me to go talk to a therapist. Maybe this will inspire me to go talk to a doctor about medications, whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Like whatever it is, I want my goal, my mission with every video after this is back to what it used to be, where if you don't leave with something of value, how about this? I'll end this video with this, because I'm babbling too long. If you don't leave my video with something of value, you fucking tell me. You DM me, you leave a comment, whatever it is, all right? Sometimes I might just have to help you find it in there, because sometimes I cover it up with a bunch of shit. But anyways, like if I start straying off track, like if, if you don't know what the clear point of that video is, so you, take away something of value aside from my just like opinion on a topic, call me out, let me know. All right, but that is my promise to all of you. Like old Chris is coming back. It's going to piss some people off. I really don't give a shit um, because I'm here to help you out. Whoever you are, I love you and I'm here to help you out. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm at Vid Summit for the next couple of days. Uh, I might do a video tomorrow. But yeah, if you're not yet, follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram, like the pictures I just showed of Leon and Jarvis. I'm posting stuff over on social media. But yeah, follow me over on there. All right, but anyways, I love you all. You are my rewired soldiers. And yeah, uh, last thing I'll say, last thing, and I promise I'll let you go. Um, I'm going to, I'm really gonna start building this community again. Like the Facebook group, um, the Discord server. Uh, the only reason I stopped those was because there was so much bullshit going on, but I'm gonna sit down and really think how we can rebuild that community and keep it safe and protected and just peer support and everything like that. Um, I'm gonna do live streams again more because I love talking to you people, uh, answering questions and everything like that. But yeah, because right now I've just been kind of trying to answer DMs as much as possible, but um, I don't know everything. You may not have known that, but I don't know everything. So I, I do like groups and discussions because I would be like, hey, I don't know that shit, but that person over there does. All right, so stay tuned. Bunch of cool stuff happening. Uh, thank y'all. Love y'all. I'll see you soon.